Oh, so we're gonna have to have, we'll have to go ahead and take off this tab and just open this up a little bit on each side. Okay. So these are the things you need to know these when you're doing things. this, right? More cutting. Oh my God, it looks so good. So if you've done this already, you know, it's not that big a deal. If you haven't and you're worried about it, let me show you what we did. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, it looks vaguely, vaguely familiar out here. What's going on? My hat's totally the other way, so it's totally different. Um, in part two of Brandy Radios, we're going to cut stuff. So we're really anxious to do that. I'm nervous. You're excited. Mm -hmm. It's a good combo. I think you're nervous too, but let's do it. So we got to get all this stuff into the car still. What are we, what are we doing? We are installing um, our rugged radio. We got the builder kit, which is going to include the new um digital radio from rugged radio um uh, still works backward compatible difference being so whether you have analog or digital guys it's not about quality it's not about quantity it's about quality yeah so what's happening is both analog and digital from what i've been reading same distance you're going to get the same distance you know as far as how far you can communicate what's going to change is going to be the quality so you're not going to have any of the garbling that can happen when you have a when you have that analog signal, you're going to have a uh, uh, crisp, clear communications. That's a lot of C's. So I'm excited to see what this is and, all about. And that's a, that's because of this guy right that here. That is. That's a digital mobile radio. That's a dual band VHF and UHF by Rugged Radios, part number RDM-DB, link below. Oh. We have it. We're going to hook that up with the 696 intercom kit. Um, we've used this before. It's amazing. It's going to have Bluetooth connectivity. It's going to allow you to text. It's going to allow you to control music. There's a lot of cool features with this that you don't get. It's going to have push to talk right on the front of the unit. We're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to install all of that. We have the audio filter, which definitely does improve quality. Um, also, another benefit of having the digital is going to be its um, ability to separate the background noise, which you do have background noise when you're riding. You got engine noise. You got wind. From the voice so sometimes when you're listening on an analog that voice can kind of get drowned out not with digital it's going to be able to tell the difference and separate that a little differently so it's going to be something that you're definitely going to want to check out you're going to hear both sides of it because we're going to be talking with the digital and with an analog and we're going to be switching back and forth to show you guys the difference between the two they're both quality rugged radios can't go wrong thank you guys excited to see what this can do real quick I have a question so we're going to be rolling into uh Pesmo soon glamorous soon uh, large groups probably at both places um, Not full-time, but at least a lot of the time you'll be in this car. I'll be in the can-am There'll be a large group all with radios. You'll be the only one with digital. That means everybody will hear you the most Isn't that strange? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> See this guy right here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah We have to make it so that these devices right up here fit through this and through the dash. You know what you say? Scalpel. Yeah. And scalpel. then I give it to the doctor and he... Bzz, 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 bzz. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a minute. We'll be right back. We're Plastic get... surgery? Like literally. I mean, right? Is that funny? You're not even laughing. So, no, <laughs> plastics. <laughs> Plast <laughs> that's dumb. Shut so up. what we're going to do is we're going to get everything ready and we'll come back when we see smoke. We'll oh, be right God. back. Okay, we'll be back. <clears throat> what we've done is I have the hot knife. This is, I don't know. We're so really excited sometimes, about hot <laughs> sometimes don't, uh, sometimes don't do what I do. The do what the instructions say. Always because, do what the instructions say. Yeah, yeah. Never do what I do. Do what the instructions say. Anyway, I'm warming this up right here. So, in the, but in the meantime, what we got to do, what, what we really got to do here is we got to get ready to cut this out. Right. And so the first thing we're going to do is I already popped one out and put it in here. Do you need me to get you a tool to pop? How about that? Your finger? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to pop these out. Pop, pop. Okay. And That's convenient, huh? Yeah. You pop out and just slide right into the spots on that mount from Rugged Radio. So It's like they made it this way or something. It's crazy. Weird. <laughs> we don't have any other plugs right now. We don't. Ha I don't have anything in here. It's like I'm flying blind. Yeah, so it does, I guess so. We, let's see. That's a lot of switches. Because I need all of them. You do? Yeah, you we're don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to make up mirror. 
Uh, oh massager. You know what? This is what I'm talking about. Yes, actually, I am going to have a makeup mirror and a massager. And what about it? Because I'm going to be so busy. Just like I'm going to be up ahead after I pass you that I'm going to have to stop for a minute and <laughs> fix my lipstick. Get a little massage action. I'm just kidding. That's not going to happen. And one of these for should, is a, should be a button to wipe the drool off because you're dreaming. So you end up with what looks like uh, three left over. Okay. We have all these in. Let's look, let's take a look. That's fancy. See what it looks like. That's like Christmas time when you Lots. pop out the. Yeah. So there will we actually already have. I ordered it. It's in the other room. But you have at least one switch. All right. So let's do this. There's, we don't have a template or anything, right? Is there not a template? If we made a mistake on that, we will correct ourselves. Well, they'll edit this whole part out. You won't even see it. No, we'll. I know. We'll correct ourselves. We'll correct ourselves. So here is what I'm looking at, right? Right. So basically what I see is that I need to go clear up to the right along that edge, right? Mm -hmm. And then see, it looks like we're going to go clear out to just on the other side of these outer One tabs. One moment. Uh, can you grab that light above your head so I can get in there and see the salt black darkness? Oh. So I'm going to come all probably, well, maybe all the way up to the top here. Okay. And then we're going to... Um, Cut on just the other side of these outer tabs. Okay. Up, up, down. Okay. Um, and then the bottoms too? I'll probably go ahead and go on down to here. Yeah, because we basically anywhere where there's plastic in the way of the intercom or the radio going through, we got to cut out. Right. So so basically, looking at this really quick, get a wide shot from, out, from further back. Put the light on it, it's just black. There you go. Yeah, perfect. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut, like I said, along the top here on the outside of each of these tabs and all the way down here and bring bring this bottom if piece If we up. mark it with something like put a marker in there and mark, like a, will that help you see where it's hitting or no? I know. Okay. I know you know, but other people might want to. Okay. So I'm scared. So again, I've kind of marked this in my head. Not with the real stuff though, but marked it in your head, okay. And now we're gonna mark it with uh, our marker. So, Are you holding it? You tell me when to. All right. So we're gonna pull this off. Can you see that? I kind of look how I stuck yeah, the light Yeah, you did right good. There. The light is down here, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use this top for a straight edge. Okay. I'm just gonna go all the way across here like that. All right, and then we go down right here at this little mark. And down right here at this little mark. Okay. And then we're going to cut that and see what we get. With what? Careful this. with this thing, please Stab do not. Stab you hot knife. It is a hot knife. Okay. All right. No here we go. Are we ready for this? I am. Kind Can of. you see that? Yeah. Scalpel. This hot knife, by the way, I'll put a link below too. I got it at Walmart for twelve ninety seven. dollars Bargain. If it works. If it doesn't work, there's no link. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it seems like it's working. How's it feel? Feels pretty good. Do not touch the metal, people. Yeah, it will burn you. Do you want gloves? No, I'm good. Okay. Ah! Nice. No, I'm not that lame. Look what I'm wearing, though. Okay. And that's some thick metal. Uh, metal. Plastic. That's some thick plastic. Good. It has to be, uh, it has to stand up to some beaten stuff. Okay, um, cutting right through that. Yep. What is that again? Uh, is it I Dream a Genie? I think so. God. Comment oh, look if at you that. know what it is. Right through, look at that. See right that? through, yeah. Like a hot butter. Like a butter. Oh, I see smoke, I smell plastic. I walked out to the smell of plastic. We're not going to do this for very long because it's headachey. Ugh. Or we're going to do it as long as it takes. No, we're not. One of the two. Yeah, probably. Is it? I mean, that's easier than and more precise than using, you know, some kind of a giant saw. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. You got it all nice and hot now. Yeah, it took a while. Bam. Well, I mean, it's 12 97 What do you expect? I expect it to work. Well, it is working. For any amount of dollars. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna come up on that line I made. Okay, cutting 
right down the side now under your line. Yeah. Gotta go right up here. Okay. That seems like a pretty yeah. uh we want it right through. Okay. Now we're gonna come down to this side. So of course if you get further back on the blade, closest to the tool is where it's the hottest, it seems like out towards the tips, not as hot. Well that makes sense, right? Yeah. The sources at the back end, so Okay, so now we're gonna slice from one cut point. Oh, it looks a little loosey. You're gonna use the pliers to pry that down towards you too once you get to oh, that yeah. point. Yeah, it's getting yeah. loose. So now what we'll do is we'll just go through each one of these. And it should just pop right out, theoretically, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Doesn't look like too much muscle has to go into this if you it's use not too something hot. Uh -oh. Am I bending the blade? Um it looks like it's way hot. The plastic's just kind of clogging up on it. Maybe a... Uh, yeah. Or we'll best out like a hacksaw or something over there no, and just go through No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use this one for the hacksaw. Okay, so... Looks pretty good so far to me. Yeah. Watch the surgeon as he performs the extraction. Gently removing each tab one by one with his scalpel. Yes. Nothing like when we come out in the garage and start cutting up on twenty, thirty thousand dollar cars. You know what? It's because. And uh, I don't see that was pretty quick. It's cutting right through. I don't see a fire. I don't see you haven't said ow. I don't see any blood or anything. Bam! Popped it right out. Score. All right. Oh wow, that worked. Yeah. This was your idea. Good job asking me to get a hot knife. All what? right. Like you know well, we doing. we might have uh, had some uh, hot tips from <laughs> hot tips, hot tips. from uh, Steve Bouchard over at Rugged Radio. Oh, Steve, you, you, so, Riley. Okay, so now just kind of looking at this quickly. Actually, man, I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna clean this line up here. Yeah, uh, please do. I don't know who. You... What happened? So I started test fitting and, and, and there it is. One thing led to another. So I'm gonna pull this out and we'll kind of show you. I'll show you what I ended up. But, so, oh my God. So I know stuff like this, a lot of people don't want to be the pioneer when it comes to some cutting on your dash. Right, I, I get, get it. Um, I guess after doing the Can-Am, it just doesn't bother me anymore and I wasn't worried about this one so much. Oh my God, it looks so good. So if you've done this already, you know, it's not that big a deal. If you haven't and you're worried about it, let me show you what we did. Okay. Not that big a deal. One uh, one thing I will tell you, if you get this radio and it has the little screws in it, mm -hmm. take them off before you slide it. Yeah, we learned. <laughs> We're so dumb. So. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so you did here, a great job. Set these aside real quick. Okay. So basically what it ended, what it ended up being is I'll show, I'll bring the pieces back that we okay. cut out. So this, uh, wow, I cut that. <laughs> you, you did a pretty good job, huh? Are you surprised? Wow, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. That's now. what I'm saying, like you never so know. this is the piece that was cut out of the top okay. section, right? Yeah. And it goes, you can drop it right back in there like that. Yeah. Uh, the only thing, it's not still intact. It's still little, little tabs that stick out. Right. So that's what we ended up cutting there. Okay. And you know what? We'll even grab a measuring tape and we'll just measure this for you and tell you what it is. Yeah, let's and this tape is right the bottom pieces. piece. Okay. And I, I, I guess we should have videoed more of the bot cutting the bottom piece out. Uh, well, let's just measure each piece and lay tape next to it and take pictures. Yeah. Just so I can show you. Just I mean, just because how it was cut out. Right. But basically, oh, helps if I put it in the right way. Okay. So that piece was there. Right? Yeah. And this piece was here. Like so. I'm going to get you the tape so you can pull it and so while Yeah. Okay. Hold so like I was saying, this is, these are the pieces put back in place. Right. This is what I cut. Top to bottom. Right. And. So out of the top, what'd you say? Let's just to measure. get a reference, we cut. Out of the top. Six inches. Pretty much exactly six inches. Wait, hang on. Just saying. Not so good. So six inches. 
pretty much okay. exactly six inches, right? Okay. And this piece, uh, just just to get a really good reference, it was right here, like this. Uh, oh, really? Have it backwards, that would help. I had it backwards earlier, too. <laughs> anyway. It's been a long day. But it does go back in there this way. Okay. Um, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom one, we cut out. And you could have cut these out together. I just cut, I cut across and then cut the bottom out first. Or the top out first and the bottom. And that one, I cut pretty much just in line with the existing hole. Okay. Are. So what I did was, there's another one of these left there. Because they're offset. Right. So I cut pretty much along with that and pretty much along with that. Straight up, straight up. And then six inches of this. Uh, on either side of this, a half inch out on either side of these t of these little tabs. That's how, so how how well, what is the bottom piece measure just for measurement? The bottom sake? piece measures. Uh, just under five inches. Okay. So and then we'll show you again how that fit, how it looks when you put it in. Yeah, it looks so awesome. So if you drop this in, what? Right. You drop this piece in. You can see you have clear access to slide your necessities. The intercom in. Mm -hmm. A black intercom. Mmm. So, plenty of room for that guy. And that. plenty of room for this guy. Watch that 696 intercom. Yeah. And here we are with that new RDM DB digital radio. Okay. So, here in a little bit, uh, or later, and, but still in this video, we're going to get into mounting this plate and the wiring. That's uh, the fun stuff, huh? Yeah, I was kind of, kind of had a minute to look at some stuff. I'll tell you right now, so we own the Razor 1000. Right. And I've, wired, and I've done some wiring on a Turbo S and a Razor Turbo. And a can am and a bunch of other stuff, yeah. And there's a bunch of wiring under this hood. I just took this hood off a minute ago. Don't waste your time. There's nothing under it whatsoever. Nothing now. Isn't there supposed to be some kind of a, a power distribution module that's easy to connect to? Yeah. So 12 spots already wired into the battery or yeah, something? Yeah, we read all about it. We just didn't read about where it is exactly. Okay, so we took a little bit of a break, right? We took one night of sleep of a break. We went to bed. <laughs> it's not really a break. We had to sleep. Okay. We took a break. <laughs> we <laughs> took a little break. We took a little break from the video. Yeah. We did. It, yeah, I got late. We got tired. This is what happens when you don't. Yeah, here's uh, what happens. <laughs> this is how you come out the next day when you work too tired. This is the new rugged radio upside down. I actually did that tonight. That's the bad thing. Uh, well, you're tired still. Okay. We haven't been getting a lot of sleep. Anywho. So here's where we're at. Uh, we're going to continue on with this. Where we left off was uh, wiring is going to be a separate video, but where we left off was mounting this. Yeah. So what we're going to do is. Let's take a step back real quick and just show you again. Slow it down. Slow your roll. If you can remember, because <laughs> it was only for you, it was like three seconds ago. Mm -hmm, for us, it was last night. But for us, what we did, you know, we showed you already. We're going to show you again this one in here, right? We cut that out. Right. That makes room for, we'll show you without the face plate, face plate on. Face plate. Uh, that makes room for intercom just you know just enough a little bit you know a little bit extra right and that was cutting right to the edge of this that's you know it's it's already a, there's already a line there we measured it out in earlier so it should be in the video where we took measurements of what yeah what we, we cut took out. a measurement of what we took out and this we kind of just cut to the edge it doesn't you know we cut the top and yeah anyway and we used what hot knife hot knife well it was just in the video three it seconds it was just in the video to me it was if last they night. can't remember now then we're in but, trouble yeah. okay Okay, so what we're going to do tonight, mm -hmm. I mean, in the rest of this video, is we're going to go ahead and uh, mount this up. Okay. So we're going to mount, we're going to grab the hardware, we're going to mount the radio and the intercom in this, mm -hmm. we're going to get this mounted in the dash, we'll show you that process. Uh, and then, of course, it's going to come back out when we wire, but that's going to be a separate video. So right. let's grab the hardware and uh, let's do this. Okay, tools, I'm ready. So we'll be right back. I'm ready. What you doing now? Okay, so we grabbed, uh, we grabbed the hardware we need. We right. grabbed the hardware that we need. Mm -hmm. And we grabbed all the different kinds of Milwaukee's. And so what we're going to do is start putting this thing together. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's see. I'm going to take this guy, this faceplate. 
He's gay. And And so, what I've done so far is put these arms on mm -hmm. that hold the radio, just kind of loosely in place. Oh, those are kind of cool, huh? And we're going to do a little bit of a test fit. Uh, let's get this right side up. Do you need hands to help, or what do you need? Oh, very good. Okay. Okay. Like that. And then you can see these brackets just go right up on the sides. I guess we haven't ever used these kinds. It's a different, different, different setup than we're used to. That's cool. So, uh, how uh, how's it going over there, buddy? Just dropping these screws in. Okay. Can you see this? Yeah. Let's see again. Let me see. Okay. It's a really nice looking thing. A unit thing. Solid, right? It is. I'm All right. Okay. So that is probably about where those go. Okay. So I'm gonna tighten these screws up real quick. That's a lot of freaking uh, switch options we got going on there. Okay. Good old Mel Wapney. The battery dying. Okay. Oh. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those up a little bit. Okay. Lots of firsts. Lots of firsts. All right, I think that's it. I think so too. It looks good. It looks Pretty solid. Good. It's not upside down, is it? Because you know, nope. it's tired. Okay. Upside down. Let me see not. it. Hold it right here. Oh, geez, Louise, that is freaking pretty. Okay. Okay. So we probably should go ahead and get that other screw now if we can find it. Oh. Put this. Let's set this in place. Like that. That's awesome. Okay. And. Somebody, I'm sure lots of people are going to have their opinion on the way they would have done it better than this way, but whatever. But this is how we're doing it. So, so yeah. Okay, so you slide those in, down yep, the rails. Slide those in. Slide the screws down the rail. Then I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to take these side rails mm -hmm. and two of the screws. I'm going to come over there, different angle. All right, so what we're gonna do is, so I took those side rails and it looks like, okay, so these are bigger bolts and it looks like they go through the round hole, not the slotted, okay. all right? right? Because this piece is slotted, so you don't need it to be slotted in both places. So I'm gonna put that on there. And we're going to put that screw right through here. Then we'll be able to adjust everything right when we, where we want it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put the washer on. Okay. Then we'll put a nut on. On the other side. Nut on. Washer on. Put the nut on. Uh, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench that I did not grab. I'll grab it for you. All right. Got the um, intercom, even though it's upside down. Right, that's how we like it. Mm -hmm. It's not right. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make sure that's pushed in, uh -huh. and then we'll tighten these nuts. Okay, which ones? These nuts. <laughs> okay, making sure. Maybe the cutting was. I didn't do it for that part yeah, of reason, but cutting wasn't that bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these face plates. It really, it was just like straight and lines, right? These mounting brackets. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah. Check that out. All right. So everything's mounted up now, the radio and the intercom, and and it no longer fits. That's not true. Right, that's oh, true. we know what? What? We are hitting something. So that's it's a good thing we did it this way, right? Mm -hmm. Now we know. Uh, 
We're hitting something on this side, and I know what it is. What is it? It's going to be this nut's hitting this guy right here. So we might have to make a little bit more more clearance over here. Okay. On this side. Kind of. Oh, a, yeah. You see it? I see where it's hitting right So basically here. what we're going to do, probably about right in the center of... Here, let me pull this out and I'll show you. Okay. See, we didn't know because we haven't the first time. Right in the center of the Right about in the center can. right here. Oh, so we're gonna have to have, we'll have to go ahead and take off this tab and just open this up a little bit on each side. Okay. So these are the things you need to know these when you're doing things. this, right? More cutting. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure we stopped for a minute. I'm not sure where we left off, but these I put these back in place, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason I did that is, you know, for like I was saying, a visual reference, I would have loved to have had that. Uh, real quick, so I'm gonna point out something. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, but these little tabs, these little dividers, I guess they are. Uh, yeah, they have them over here too. Uh, but these little dividers are on the right so side of each hole, right? Each right. switch hole. So you end up with this tab that we left in, but these come out. So I'm gonna pull these out. You know, what needs to be cut is a little around here for the nut, for that round nut and one here. This piece will have to come out. We didn't cut this out previously because it fit without the nuts on it. So, I'm gonna, uh, so cut right as little out, as possible. Pull that right out. Well, yeah, I mean, no and then, I'm going crazy. Put it back in. Yeah. yeah, you can cut all the way over here. It doesn't matter. Look at that. So I'm gonna take this guy off. Hot and gun. I don't think hot this. Knife from Walmart. It seems like it was hotter than it was. Well, that's, I was trying to scrape all that black. It's good. better than using a freaking hacksaw or whatever you. you Guys, that's, that's uh, it's not as fun, but it is better than <laughs> stop. I didn't say funner. Look at that. So basically, I'm just trying to get the rest of this tab. What twelve dollar knife? Twelve ninety seven. Okay. Thirteen. Like a fifteen ninety seven might be. Well, I can find it. one, sir. So. Yeah, you can only get so much at Walmart. This is gonna fit right in like a glove, huh? It's probably gonna look better than it does in the Can-Am. Probably. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay. Okay, so the, I can tell the, the right side's good. We still have a little bit to go on the left side. Is it getting any hotter? It's pretty hot. Bam, pops it right out. So, okay, so test fitting. Test fitting again. Test fitting, this is the new radio and intercom that is getting put oh. into the- uh, And we are there. 2020 Pro, boom, look at that, guys. If yep. that is not freaking perfection and beauty, I don't know what is, I love it. So know? now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put a hole here, a hole here, a hole here, a hole here, right here and here. And here, here, and here. Yep, and we'll get that screwed in place. And that pretty much takes care of mounting it. Then uh, wiring, which is another whole nother beast. Whole nother beast. So I brought. I already have uh, everything we need. Real quick, we'll do this. I'll put one right here. All right. We got a pilot hole drilled in. Yep. Start the screw. We went. We have. It comes flat hardware. Gonna start that one a little bit, and then we're going to uh, make sure it's still in place where it belongs. Does it look even? Everything's even. Looks we're gonna to put me. this next hole in right here. And nothing like drilling holes in your brand new car, right? Love it. We do it all the time. Yeah. God, why do we do it all the time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's worth it. So 
allow me to kind of flex this around, make sure that we get everything lined up real good. Okay. All right. So we'll get these bottom holes. We're gonna put those in and then we'll get these holes. So we got the, I got a couple of shorter screws for mm -hmm. this part right here. Okay. So we're gonna drill a hole at an angle this way. Right. And then one this way. So those are in. Go ahead and tighten these up a little bit. All right. That looks freaking so is. awesome. Oh my it's God, solid. what do you think? It's nice. It's nice and solid. Pop these back in place. You can still use the little cigarette lighter. It's I mean, called a charge port. Charge port receptacle, something. But I honestly think, like, as far as cuts go for installation, like with the hot knife, like you did, or, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I feel mean, like it wasn't too bad. It's not bad at all. Then again, you know, so I'm going yeah. to. All right, well. There's this part two, what's next? Next will be wiring. Yeah. Oh yeah, so pretty excited. I can't wait, oh, whoa, hey. <laughs> okay, but that's another video like we talked about, so we are done. We are done for tonight. So we got this all mounted up and we have uh, T minus nine days till sand. So we're gonna have this all wired up before we go, obviously, because if I'm gonna drive this car, I have to have communication. So thank you guys at Rugged Radio again. We appreciate you. I think you're awesome. Um, what can we say? I can't wait to see you guys in a couple weeks. If you are subscribed, we thank you so much. It does allow us to continue to keep doing what we love, which is this, and we're glad that you're along with us. And we honestly do really hope to meet all of you in the sand someday. We've met some awesome people, made some great friends, and hope to meet more. If you haven't subscribed, just do it. You're already here watching the video. Click that subscribe button, and also, while you're here, click the little notification bell so you can be notified as the videos roll out. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up. We're still continuing along the Evo tuning journey with the Can-Am. We have some stuff to do on this car because i got to keep up with you-know-who. Um, we're going to put links below to a bunch of Facebook groups. We have our group where we talk about where we're going to be. We also have um, the Draggy group with the fastest YXZ X3. Like, there's a bunch of people on there. You're going to want to see it. It's pretty cool. Um, we also have a link down below to our Patreon. So if you're inclined to help us out, we do appreciate it. Hey, guys that are already on there, we appreciate you. Um, and I guess that's it. So stay tuned. Oh, also, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. We, that's actually why we do all of this. Um, we also want, would love a thumbs up. But we also are very, very critical of ourselves. And so if you don't like it, we want to know that too. If you hit the dislike button in multiples of two, it really does let us know how much you hate it. If you do it one time, it just disappears on my speed at least. So if you do two, four, six, eight, if you do it 10, I keep saying, who do you love to hate? It's us, I know. Hit it, we'll um, immediately stop doing what we're doing. It'll just cease. So thank you guys for all of your support. I hope to see you soon. We have Glamis in less than a, less than a month. Peace.